Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we will learn how to use SOLIDWORKS HAM feature in SOLIDWORKS and create different kinds of HAMs. See here closed, open, tear down and circular HAMs or rolled HAMs. So let's learn how to use those features and create a sheet metal part in SOLIDWORKS. Now let's start to see how to use ham feature in SOLIDWORKS sheet metal. First we will create a flange. So I will directly choose base flange. If you don't have sheet metal right click on tabs and here you will find option sheet metal. Tab. Now it will ask you which plane you like to start. So I will say top plane. Now activate center rectangle tool. Now this is your uh, rectangle. Now we will put the dimension 100, press tab key, 120, enter. Right click exit. Now if I will choose exit, it will automatically going to extrude or make a tab sheet. Thickness we will keep 3 millimeter and bending allowance we will keep standard. Relief angle also we will change at the end say yes now this is our base flange a sheet metal uh, let me choose perspective view so it looks more better now let's activate ham feature now if you activate ham feature the first thing it will ask you choose age so let's say i'll choose any uh, top or bottom any age so i'll see one age now let's come here uh, okay, we will do with this also. There is two options, material inside, material outside. Let's say material inside. Okay, see it's moving inside, outside. Let's say inside. Now the first option is closed hem. Look, here I'll say 15 millimeter. It's our K factor we don't need here because this is uh, outside. Edit hem. Now here I will edit, just click the choose end direction and change end point and change the length, smart dimension. Now let us define this, let us say 10 millimeter. Now the overall length I will say 40 millimeter because here also I am going to make now back, if you see in back, there is a relief angle, custom relief type, rectangle or brown tier, let us take one example of round, use relief ratio, let us say 1, 1 millimeter in both side, say yes. Now look, this is how we cut, again let us, I will apply ham flat 15 millimeter this time I will keep material outside now here also I want to apply so let us edit one one edge forty five back let us check now here we did not apply material inside we applied bend outside see 15 millimeter is the distance from outer edge to inner edge. Now look, both the bends are same, but this is material inside, this is material outside. So this is the one type. Let's go for next type. Activate hem tool. Now I'll select the second one. Open. Let's uh, let's take anything. Let's say material. This is the overall length, 15. Now gap also we need to define, so 5. But first we need to choose age. So I'll choose this upper age. You will see the preview. Material in outside, inside. Let's say outside. Even though you can edit the dimensions, just drag the end both end points, 
in somewhere and assign dimensions. Twenty back. Just check again. This seems perfect. Here we don't need relief angle. Say yes. Now look. Let's apply the third one. Activate ham tool. The third one is tear drop. It is not fully round. It is angle somewhere. Let's say if I put dimension ten. See, it is asking you please enter number between one eighty two. Two seventy degree. Okay, so first let me choose this edge. Now, angle. Let's say two twenty five. Inside radius two point five millimeter. Look. If I am going to keep material inside, that's okay. Outside, that's okay. Edit the same thing. Let's edit a smart dimension. You can define the length, eighty millimeter, and uh, define any one distance so that our geometry will be fully defined. Back isometric view, and you will see the preview. Now here, if I am going to apply inside, so we need to apply here mat ratio. Ratio is depend on the The thickness of material, 0.5 ratio means the th the cutout will be 3 into 0.5. It's 1.5 millimeter thick. So let's say I'll keep one. So the it's equal to thickness means 3 millimeter. Look. If I'm going to choose flatten view, you will see the gap. Here also the gap. now let's check the last tool it's closed in rolled out if i am going to put here zero first let me choose this edge now degree degree 3 it is 0 to 300 360 degree you can put any degree let's say 300 degree And this one, three millimeter radius, but this is going to collapse here. So we will edit ham. Let's keep somewhere inside. Sixty, twenty. Let's go back. Isometric view, and you will see the preview. This is material inside. If either though, even though you can keep material outside. In outside, you don't need to put any relief angle. Let's say yes. Look. So this is the simple ham tool feature, which is very useful for creating any sheet metal part in solid works. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share, like our video, and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Even though, if you want to save this one, right click and export to DXF, save part. Now here it will ask you export either sheet metal, flat, flat pattern, or anything you want to show bend line. Click here bend line. We don't have any sketches or it's already there. Forming tool we don't have any forming tool. and alignment also we don't need because this is already aligned with origin point say okay once you save it will show you the preview see it is with bending line save it that's it so thanks for watching